Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Damn rightly. So that's our next objective. Trying to find the pills and try to figure out how we can get them out of the pharmacy. <laughs> so I know what you're saying. What better shape are we in now? I mean, what did that lead to? Well, let me tell you something, viewers. Since we did the motel, we have our new best friend, Mr. Axe. And, uh, I know, it might not seem like much, but, uh, Mr. Axe is very convincing. He has his ways. Not just with dealing with zombies or being very convincing, you know. He's, uh, he, ha he just works through mysterious ways. Not like God, just uh, more physical and well. blunt. Sometimes to the point, if you get my meaning. <laughs> um, but yeah, what else we can do here in the pharmacy is... We can talk to everyone. They don't really have a whole lot to say, because we kind of have talked to most of everyone. They, we Such pretty much exhausted all our Maybe options of dialogue. Like but there is Glenn. Glenn is just like standing nonchalantly, like next to down. the bathroom and in front of the pharmacy. See, he's, he's just standing there, pretty cool, trying not to act too worried. Didn't check on Clementine. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I'm gonna check up on her viewers and let I her know, know we care. Bad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy. Oh. No, you know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes, deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. That's right, game. I checked up on Clementine. I'm I'm responsible and caring about her and surrogate father figure. The pills are in there. And that's our objective now. We got Glenn. We can talk to him in a second. I don't know. We gotta figure out how to get There's in no there. There's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Well, Lee, I figure we could at least consult Mr. Axe, because perhaps he has a thing or two to say about it. Maybe not the most effective way of speaking to the iron grating, but, you know, it's worth a shot. It Let's consult our BFF, Kenny, and his family. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You've got it. Uh, we're exhausting every option, aren't we? Scraping the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. It's okay. I'm sure Doug has something How to say. Doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Uh, maybe I later. Alright. And Carly, I don't really want to talk to Carly, I'll be honest. Uh, we have Glenn, though. Might as well talk to him. We haven't talked to him lately. How you doing, Glenn? You know back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Well? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. That's actually a very good point. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. Poor Glenn. Well, at least he's trying to act cool and tough in this situation. Uh, maybe we should talk to Lily. Maybe she has something to say. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Nope. Alright. You know what? I... 
I, don't, I think we should consult Mr. Axe on the pharmacy door, you know? Maybe he has a thing or two to say about it, unlike the Iron Grates. Because uh, it's, an, it's an option, you know? Gotta, gotta see if this is effective. <clears throat> Try it again. Maybe, maybe it left it dead. Maybe it wears the more time you do it. Shop. Keys it is, I guess. Ah, uh, Mr. Axe, you felled me. That's okay, you're still reliable. That's what I figured. Yeah, well, there's not a whole lot else we can do. I mean, but yeah, I can I can annoy you viewers by checking a whole bunch of things I've already checked before, and I, forgive me. I'm really trying to figure out what to do in this situation. Really trying to. There's not a whole lot, and as you ha can guess, or maybe I've, I've kind of said it a little bit, we have to go outside. It's the only effective way. There's That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Damn straight. It's the only way we can move on with the game. We, we gotta go outside. Unfortunately. So, we gotta go talk to Doug. He is our saving grace right now. I know, Doug doesn't seem like the most reliable person, but there's more to the guy. I mean, appearances can be deceiving, am I right? Just because the guy seems useless, he saved Carly, so obviously this guy is doing? pretty awesome. Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Hell yes, buddy. Let's go have a look outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. Take a closer look. There's actually a couple things I missed. For instance, board up warehouse. Tasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, that, that's not good. But on the other hand, you know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Guess that didn't work out too well. Well, something more important that we need to check is, yeah, this trapped walker. Look at the one trapped over there. Better than oh. us, huh? Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? Um, he's kind of important. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all cheat up and... Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we can somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Actually, we can prove that he worked here. We have the photograph. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Well, Doug's on board with this idea. We just need to figure out how to distract the zombies, slash walkers, slash random Did roaming guys. Anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. I think Doug underestimates the power of the remote, you know. We gotta figure out what type of remote it is. Like, maybe it'll work on this lock. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Well, it's a universal remote. We might have a use for this. Like, say, in a TV that store. Yeah, I think we can use this remote on that. Think you can Maybe do not. With this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's 
universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Doug's pretty smart. I like him, but we need to amplify the sound. I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Yeah, that's a subtle reference. We need to figure to out some. Get weapons. Some to break that glass. If only we could go to that store, maybe we could get some weapons, but no, that's not what we have to do. They're most of who you see wandering. Actually, if you already knew or if you notice, there's a brick lying on the ground. But how do we open the gate to get to that brick? It's you know, it says we can consult Mr. Axe, but isn't that gonna make a lot of noise? Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. 